This is sketchy. This is probably a bad idea. Shit! Okay, I've had these in my nose since I was 17 years old and I hate that they have a ball on them. I think they didn't even have threadless ones of these when I got these put in. We're gonna try and take them out <laughs> and put some new ones in that I got on Amazon. Harlow's playing in an empty bath back here. <laughs> this is sketchy. This is probably a bad idea. Oh my gosh, the ball's like been in here for so long it doesn't want to come out. I don't know. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Can you go back in? Oh my gosh. Yay! Tuck it out. <laughs> Look at this. This little fucker. I don't know why this ball won't come off. What is going on? I'm gonna check this out. Here they are. I should get a facial and get all these blackheads out around the around there too. We gotta go see what Nick thinks about this. He's building our dining table right now. Oh, you're a different person. I want to pick my nose all day. I might just leave them out. Touched it like that for since I was. Did they close up? I mean, no. <laughs> I was afraid you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I put my new little nose rings in. It's a different day. I just had a hair appointment yesterday. The ones that I was gonna put in. The gauge was like too big, so I had to get a 20 gauge. I didn't, I think I pierced my nose with a safety pin when I was like 16. And I think that's why the holes are so small. Um, <laughs> Cause normally I think you get pierced with either 18 or a 16 gauge, but I'm actually glad they're small because during the time that I had them out, I could have left them out and you never would have known that I ever had them pierced. And with a bigger gauge, obviously you'd have a bigger hole, so. I put these in, these are way easier to get out. You just kind of like pull them apart and they open. So got those in there. And today we're gonna move most of my things, I shouldn't say most of my things, a lot of my toiletries and everything back into my um, new bathroom. So I'm gonna show you guys the new bathroom, there's still obviously some finishing touches and different things and like I'm gonna need some like different organizational bins I think and stuff but I kinda just wanna get everything in there, get rid of some stuff I don't want and see and then kinda like reevaluate and see like if I wanna move things or get different organizational bins. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so pregnant right now. I'm like losing my breath. So let's go ahead and I'll give you guys like a tour of the bathroom and show you kind of some things that I'm gonna be adding and then we will get into like kind of bringing everything in there and freeing up some of the space in this bathroom as well as the cupboards. Um, the linen cupboards have been just full of toiletries lately. So I'm gonna try and um, organize my stuff if I can get to it. I'm gonna organize some of Nick's stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, over here. This is the um, thermostat for the floor because the floors are heated under there. This little guy turns on our shower niche. Check it out. Oh, I need to change the color and like, like how bright it is. It's pretty cool. And then we've got all these switches. This one, we've got some main lights. Those are like in the shower, and then these are my little sconces, so we'll just turn all of them on. Um, so some things that we're still gonna be adding is we're doing a barn door here, so that the shitter is, has a door. Need to get a new rug, this one's falling apart. Um, but we got this like cute little thing, I think this is from Amazon. Um, lots of toilet paper, phone, we've got a charger back, or like a plug back here so you can charge your phone. Obviously, Nick plans on spending a lot of time here because here's why he's the one that picked this out and made sure that plug was there. Um, kind of ready to go in here with some tucks and a peri bottle. I found this peri bottle um, on Amazon for like six bucks. It's not like the main brand, but it's gonna work. So then you come in here and we have a Jessica. <laughs> um, Oh gosh, I need to find a spot for these. They're just like hanging out on the counter. So gross. Uh, I just got these because I have nowhere to put towels. So I just bought some towels that need to go on these too. Oh, I'm going to bring these in here probably in a minute. Um, 
We got fluted glass on here, which I absolutely love. So we're gonna keep towels here and then I'm gonna need like a step stool to get up here. Um, but these are really deep. So I was super happy that we made the decision to get like pull out drawers here. So we just have like tons and tons of storage just even right here. We have more storage in this bathroom even though we made the shower much bigger and cut into our vanity. Um, I'll have to show you guys some clips of what this bathroom looked like before. So maybe I'll put that on screen or roll it over. Here we are, it is very, very echoey in here. We've got almost everything completely out of here. You gotta get your mirror out of here, babe. Um, we have gotten all of our things out of here. It's so crazy. We've been dealing with this ugly ass bathroom way too long. We've got, we each have our sides here. This is my side and that is Nick's side. So we've got these drawers and then under here we've got a rollout drawer as well and some adult diapers. <laughs> I didn't even know Nick put this in here. I've got cleaning supplies because I've been nesting like a mother and have been cleaning everything. So that's that. His side is exactly the same. Um, and our, dude, this like bathroom, I'm just so stoked and grateful that it's done before the baby comes. Like it turned out so great. I love the hardware, like how thick it is, like on our shower, it's like beautiful. Um, so I'll take you in here. These are kind of the only things that have really made it into here so far. I've got a couple things over here. I like to hide stuff over here so you don't see it from out there. Um, I got Nick this little guy on Amazon. But this light up here, you can change the colors. You can even make it like change colors while you're in here, which is really cool. It's super relaxing to like have this on at night. And that's like the only thing and you shower in here. But the main reason for like the lighting and the thought behind this, other than the fact that it looks freaking cool, is that um, Nick gets up super early for work as a firefighter and he like just like doesn't want to turn like all these like bright lights on in the morning so he can turn this on and have a shower and it's just like really relaxing. I, um, this was a last minute addition, this little seat here, but I'm glad that I, that we added it because I sat on that last night and scrubbed my feet. <laughs> um, it's really hard to just stand there on one foot and scrub your feet when you're pregnant, especially. So each side has the hand shower and then this guy, and it's really actually cool because we did our first family shower in here the other day. And I was on this side and Harlow was here with her little shower and then Nick was over here and it was like perfect. She like could play and like, it was just, it was awesome. So that's that. And then over here, we've got the rest of our drawers and I kind of already pulled a couple things in here that are toiletries I need to go through. Um, I, the plan is to put a seat here so that I can do my hair and my skincare at night here. And this actually turns on, but it's not wired right now, so we need to wire it. But these are some drawers that I'm thinking I'm probably gonna need some like baskets in to like pull out for skincare, depending on like what I'm looking for. So this is that side. Nick has already claimed this. We're actually gonna get rid of this. I, I was like, I have some clone for you. I got this in the mail the other day. And um, this smells like a little old lady. And it's supposed to be a men's cologne, I believe. And it does not smell good. So we're gonna actually put that in the giveaway pile. Organization going on up here in the drawers. I made sure I did like thin ones up top so that I would have like enough space for like just more like skincare and stuff that wouldn't get like just lost, you know, in there. And then these are for like taller things like bubble bath and bubble salts and bubble salts, I mean <laughs> bath salts and stuff like that. So we have the same on the other side. So that's it for the storage in here. I need to probably get another mat. This is super soft. So I think I might buy the same one or like a longer one to go right here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put our towels on our little towel racks and I'm going to be returning these. These are really cheap. I got this on Amazon and how funny is it that it says 
bathroom accessories on it down here. Like why? I also thought this was ceramic, like that's not gonna hold anything up. So I need to return these, but um, they're here for now. Oh, they're like too long. I ended up changing my PJs so I look more aesthetic with my bathroom. <laughs> I bought these for postpartum and they're like the softest things in the world. Um, but I was like, I should probably look maybe just a little bit cuter. Like my belly was hanging out, but it's like still hanging out. So we're not gonna be able to fix that problem today, but you know, we'll leave that one for another day. Shit. I'm so glad that didn't break. These I use pretty much every single day. These, I don't know. I think the best method here is to literally just start putting like items together in cupboards. And then as I live with it, I will figure out like where I wanna put things. These are really cool. These are like the body glow. Um, this is a face sunscreen body and then you know I'll just as I go I'll figure out like okay I don't really use that that much I'm gonna move that I think that might be my best plan of attack and I do want to get like containers so that I can have like stuff for like acne all in one thing and masks all in one thing so I can kind of pull it out and pick what I want um, these guys I'll put here for now I'm gonna put some of these in the shower for now. I'd like to simplify like my shower stuff, but for the time being to see like what I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna put all of this in here and then go from there. Eye masks. Face mask. Happy. One bin clear. Let's put stuff we're gonna get rid of in here. Okay, oh my goodness. All right, lots of serums. SPF, we're gonna put that with the other SPF. you guys organize your skincare like I'm, I realize that I have probably way more skincare than the average person because this shit is expensive and all this stuff is sent to me however like I don't know whether to keep like all the brands together or like these three things together because they go together or like have like a serums for dark spots or a serums for like I like I need some serious organization help <laughs> why am I making a video about how to organize stuff when I don't know how actually it's not how to organize it's just me trying to organize Serums, serums, serums. These are all serums. For the most part, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I don't think I've ever used that. I, this is very old. Let me probably go in the trash. This stuff is awesome. So we're definitely gonna need some like organizational things here, but at least it's away and in the cupboard and not in here and we've emptied another one. So that will do for now. I've got some masks here. I'm gonna get some, have to get some organizational stuff for here too. Oh my goodness. This is a great problem to have, but are you, like seriously? <laughs> I feel like I kinda just wanna get rid of most of this because like, like this is the only thing I have from this brand, so. I think I'm gonna put my nail 
nail stuff up here. I rarely do my own nails. Did you say mommy? Did you say hello? Harlow just said mommy for the first time. She just mommy? said, hi mommy. Aww. <laughs> what about daddy? Oh, she says all oh, those. Daddy. Dad, dad, daddy. I did daddy. You gonna go for a nap? Yeah. Yeah, your teeth's so tall. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is like, all my tanning stuff, so it's already in a bin. I think I'm just gonna stick it up here. All right, so this is the last bin of stuff I'm gonna put in here for now because the other stuff is like hair stuff and I'm keeping that in the other bathroom until I have like a seat in here and that is hooked up. So I need to find a spot for all this stuff. Seriously, I don't think we need these um, <laughs> ovulation sticks. <laughs> mm. Giant pack of them. for now. I think I'm gonna put my hair stuff when I move it in here in these drawers and down there and I might put some of it in here but I'm definitely gonna to have to get some plastic bins since these are pretty deep so I can just pull them out and use what's in here. Um, Nick's working on the <laughs> shower right now. And then honestly when I was putting all this stuff away I completely forgot that I had all of these. So we'll just see how it goes, but I just wanted to get it all in here, put away, and then I can organize it later. This is our giveaways, so I'm gonna take that out. And that is it for now. I'll have to show you guys another video when I actually get it like actually organized, not just put away. Um, and show you like the bins and the solutions that I get because I'm gonna have to like live in this for a minute until I figure out exactly what I need. Um, but yeah, that's the little tour of our bathroom and like me organizing my stuff in here. Um, and I'll have to show you when this mirror is all plugged in and like hooked up because it's gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.